Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys it's Zerks coming at you today with another youtube video and today we've got the next episode of pack and play now this is episode 39 which means episode 40 is the next episode and as you guys already know every 10 episodes we do get to spin a wheel and we get to get something off of it to help the team so comment down below some challenges to do for the next episode but also some things to add onto that wheel now, I do want to give a shout out to Jacob Lopez for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the bell on, and comment down below, Noti Gang. But as for the challenges for today, actually pretty interesting ones. Uh, one I'm not too excited about, to be honest with you guys, which is trying to throw screen passes for an entire quarter, and I can't throw an interception, which makes the challenge way harder, honestly, because if I could just throw a screen pass for a quarter, I think they'd be... Uh, something I could do but throwing screens and not throwing a pick that's a little bit more tough uh, to do that for a quarter but we'll see what we can do and if we get that done we do get a special pack which I do have some fan appreciation packs left over so we will be doing those packs of course uh, and also the other challenge we have today is 100 rushing yards and one TD with Willis McGahee and we get his power up I thought that was a pretty interesting one so I know it's a little bit different and I probably won't allow us to do like that type of stuff maybe many more times because you know we're supposed to like pull the power players but McGahee very hard to pull power for him so I'll allow it so as you guys can see though this is the offense we're currently rocking very excited to try out Willis McGahee in this gameplay and obviously we're going to try to give him the ball as much as we can to get the 100 yards and the TD this is the defense let's get into it looking to take your game in Madden 21 to another level make sure to check out hotroute.tips get access to ebooks tips and schemes for Madden pros use code zerk for 10% off let's dominate weekend league so I believe that is my top three with Marvin Derwin and Taylor Mays and okay lurker on two middle linebackers so the two challenges for today to be honest kind of make it hard for both to be done because i have to run nothing but screen passes for an entire quarter here and then i have to try to rush for 100 yards so i'm basically going to try to rush for 100 yards in just three quarters definitely not the easiest thing to do but let's get the ball to willis and we got a first down all right so one pass down and we got the screen out there hopefully we can get it going here he is using on taylor mays once again did not look out for the screen pass but willis mcgay nice juke but i would imagine that this guy is probably going to start to look out for these screens and hopefully he doesn't catch on before uh the end of this first half here as i'm going to try to get the ball to willis mcgay he couldn't do anything there and yes that was a screen pass to willis mcgay out there third and six and i mean you guys already know what's coming and it looks like my opponent once again wasn't out there kind of have to go for this all right so fourth and eight yeah we're running another screen pass we literally have to once again this guy just was not out there willis mcgay he somehow broke free how is this guy not defending the screen pass? I don't know how Willis McGee, he made it out of there and how I got the first down because I definitely shouldn't have. You guys can see though, now he is uh, definitely trying to play on it and this is where things get kind of hard. So I am going to continue to run screens. However, I don't have to throw the ball to the screen necessarily. So if I want to throw it to the other way, I can do that. Unfortunately, we get sacked. And this is kind of what I mean by the screen passes being really hard to do because now it is third and 23 and i mean i'm gonna throw the screen pass let's just get it out there willis and yeah nothing there so on fourth and 33 i am going to take my three points and i think i just messed it up i'm gonna miss this kick aren't i i'm gonna miss it randy come on man all right so i definitely messed that up big time i messed up that kick really bad however this should be the final play right here of the first quarter so this will allow us to go ahead and get a fan appreciation pack for that and then we're gonna have to try to run the ball because yeah that 100 rushing yards is gonna be kind of tough get over there howard wow he caught that yeah i gotta say i'm very surprised i am very very surprised he caught that i mean great great throw honestly like seriously great throw get out there Lattimore please all right so the good news is that we are done with running screen passes thankfully and we now have got a fan appreciation pack to get into 
But the bad news is now we have to try to run the ball like crazy. And Willis McGahee, nice jukes. So trying to get these 100 yards rushing, definitely not going to be the easiest thing ever. Also, we're already down by seven. So this is not good. Dang it. Now, obviously, we are going to try to get those 100 yards rushing. But I can't just nonstop run the ball. It's just not going to work out. So we are going to go to the air here. Marvin Harrison, easy catch. All right, let's see if Evan Ingram can actually get this block on the outside. If he can, this could be a big run. Good blocks. Willis McGahee, first down again. All right. Willis McGahee already with 27 rushing yards now. Eddie George is in the game, but I'm actually going to run it again because I like the run blocks we got in that last play. Didn't work this time. So with only two minutes left here, I'm going to, again, kind of continue to run the ball a little bit, but we also really, really need to score a touchdown here. So if I have to throw the ball to score... We'll do that. At least in the second half, we will have two quarters to try to go ahead and get those rushing yards done. But the only issue is he gets the ball to start the first half of the second half. All right, fourth and five coming up. We need this first down right here. And a Dory. Oh, no, I threw it right at his user, dude. I literally threw it right at his user. Didn't have anything else open. And I think I actually just saw it in the replay. I already know someone's going down in the comment section right now to tell me that I actually had the tight end wide open for a TD. I think Evan Ingram actually was wide open there for a TD. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he was. We get a sack. Definitely not a great first half for me. Hopefully, though, we can get some more pressure, maybe get another sack here so we can actually get a pack. We don't even have a pack right now. We only have the uh, fan appreciation one. Second and 16 coming up, though. Oh, I actually thought it was going to be something else. And we get some pressure on him. That's the road away. All right, third and 16. I do have a QB contained set up. He's actually scrambling a little bit with James Morgan, which, you know, he's got decent speed, but it's not like he has RG3 or something. I'm going to look out for the tight end. Actually, back across the middle, we get the hit. You better pick that. Thank you, Lattimore, with the INT. That's a pack. All right, so we got the ball back. We do have a pack, and we have 26 seconds left. So we've really got to make something out of this. I'm going to try to fit it in to beat to the sideline. Good catch. Now, I also do have three timeouts left, and we're at the 19. So I'm going to run it here. Hopefully, we can pick up some yards. McGahee, break a tackle. I'm going to call a timeout now. Really just want to try to get a couple extra yards there with Willis. And honestly, we might get Goddard right down the seams. That's a dot right there all right i'm gonna give this a try we do have mcgahee in at fullback so if we get the td we get the td we need this please don't get blown up willis no all right it's second to go at the 12 i can't run the ball because if we get stopped it's you know end of half here we badly need to get some points on the board try to fit it in there for the td thankfully we didn't mess that up and randy moss we're gonna make the extra point here should go into half seven to seven unless he does something crazy here i'm gonna actually come around the edge here with jamal adams to see if i can get like a user sack this would be big if I can. Jamal Adams, I messed that up a little bit. He's going to scramble around, try to throw it deep, and he almost caught it. And we do pick it off. Derwin James with the pick. So that's a pack. And Derwin on the return with a good return. We get caught. That's a pack, though. All right, guys. So we do currently have three packs right now. We have three regular packs and then one fan appreciation as he's motioning over A.J. Brown and that's exactly where he's going all right so he's at the 29 yard line and he is going to go to the run game here big hit taylor mace come on hit stick what i would really love to see is like a crazy hit stick fumble on alvin Kamara. as there's no way he runs this ball there there's just no way that he is going to run this ball here i'm going to look out for anything underneath and wow that's a dot Honestly, that is a dot. Honestly, that was just a really, really nice throw right there. Like, honestly, a really, really good throw. Now, we do have, like, 30 rushing yards. I don't know exactly how many we got with Eddie George. Probably not too much. Willis has 35. So, I really do want to try to get these 100 rushing yards, but also, we're going to have to pass the ball and, uh, you know, try to score a TD here. Willis, though, really good run. Hit the edge. Willis McGee, he's showing off that speed. All right, so we are now over 58 rushing yards. We're going to try to run this one over here to the left side, which we get some decent blocks try to cut it back inside a couple of yards there so we're up to 64 yards with willis but we also you know need a touchdown out of him as i'm gonna try to go deep to a dory and oh we caught that i cannot believe we actually just caught that ball i'm gonna be honest i i really didn't think we we're gonna catch it thought maybe it was uh too risky of a throw but i'm shocked it gets really really hard to run the ball down here especially because i know my o-line my wide receiver is not the best blockers gonna try a toss play though and willis no fall in come on all right it is fourth and one and i really want to get this td in here with willis but i am actually running an rpo because we might throw this out there and no i'm gonna hand it off to willis mcgahee get it in for the td yes all right guys so we are up to four total packs right now and we got the willis mcgahee td that was super clutch 
Now all we really need to get is going to be uh, those rushing yards, which I set my zone drops to play that. And he didn't catch it, thankfully. I have my zone drop set up and everything there, and hopefully we can actually stop it as he's flipping over his offense. I'm so scared of uh, tight end Robert Woods, honestly. That card is just so good. I'm going to look out for him. It's not going to be open across the middle. He's going deep. Xavier Howard, please. Howard, what? How that pass is not intercepted. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea how that pass is not picked off. That's that's really, really crazy. Third and 10. He is motioning over Lazard. And he's probably looking to go that way. Nothing's open. We got some pressure on him. And of course, the tight end delay. All right, so he is going to try to run this ball more than likely on fourth and inches. I did just run commit. I'm right there with Taylor Mays. You got to be kidding me. I don't know how I got to him there. And yet, I still pulled him over the first down line. Like, that was such a good run stop right there by me. And we get cheated. I really, really cannot believe that one right there. Second and nine coming up. Again, QB contain going out. Have the zone drop set to stop those deep routes that he really, really likes to go to. And that's a good pass. All right, second and six coming up. Please get some pressure. That's what we really need would be some pressure right here. There's only a minute left. He's motioning over A.J. Brown. Please get some pass rush. Please, please, please get some pass rush here as that should have been covered. He caught it. I've literally got my zone drop set and everything to defend against those routes because he keeps throwing the same exact distance routes there as he's going to run it here again. Nothing there. I'm honestly so, so sad if we lose the game like this. I feel like, yeah, we had like that one, literally the one catch. Come on. Trying to go over the hit stick there. We didn't get it. But I feel like we had like the one Adori catch that kind of went our way. But we've had some stuff go against us in this game as well. Third and eight coming up. Is he really going to run it here? I don't know why he's not just like taking a knee or something. As I'm there again, I tried to go over the big hit. That's going to be the game. I promise you guys I'm not tapping A on those tackles at all. I am definitely trying to hit stick. And it didn't work. And unfortunately, we lost the game. That's tough loss. So we do get five total packs this game. We had four from the game. We also get one additional pack, though, for just playing the game. So we have five total packs in the game and a fan appreciation. Willis McGee, 13 for 71, did not have 100 rushing yards. Did have the TD. He did have 40 receiving, but it had to be 100 rushing to get the power up. I'm honestly really mad we lost this game because I feel like we played pretty decent. I had my zone drop set and everything. Xavier Howard dropped the pick at the end. Probably would have been the game-changing play. Honestly, losing those games, it's like much, much worse than losing a game where you get blown out. Losing a close game where you drop a pick on like the last drive, yeah, that's that's terrible. Ended up losing 17 to 14. I did, of course, also um, maybe miss a field goal in there, but is what it is. So we do have five packs to get into, so we actually have two total special packs, which as you guys know, I am going to be using these final two fan appreciations as the special packs. I'm actually recording this video on Tuesday night, so if we got a refresh of fan appreciation on Wednesday, I'll probably use those packs for like the next fan appreciation. I'm recording this Tuesday night, you guys should be seeing this on Sunday, I believe, but we do get rings here, 96 tight end Jeremy Shockey. But he's at wide receiver. We also get a 92 overall, Elijah Molden and Steve McNair. So wide receiver, Jeremy Shockey, guys, he does only have 90 speed. So, yeah, I'm not going to use him. But uh, nice pull, good training points right there. Elijah Molden, he's got 94 speed and 93 excel. I don't, I don't think we can use him either, though. I feel like we already have uh, some better corners there. Obviously, we already have Josh Allen at quarterback as well. Final fan appreciation, though. Then we have five getting gold player packs to get into here. Our UL is an 87, unfortunately. Uh, we get an 87 overall legend. Draft player, 94 left outside linebacker. We already have a really, really good linebacker core, but he's got 93 speed. Unfortunately, though, can't pass rush, so not going to make the team. Now, as I said, we do also have five get a gold player packs to get into, so we got a decent amount of pulls there, some good overall pulls i should say we also get an 87 overall khalil mack all right give me some power ups i would definitely like some power ups here uh we're definitely gonna do some training variety packs but to be honest i think i may also do some other packs as well like a uh some other big training packs i'm not sure which ones though i do want to do a lot of training varieties though hopefully we'll pull like a golden ticket or something that'd be incredible fine we're gonna go player pack though 77 and actually, after taking a look at the team, guys, I've decided we were actually going to use Elijah because 
he is actually better than Marshawn Lattimore. But that doesn't mean Lattimore is going to be off the team because obviously he's just like the snow beast stuff. So we're just going to move him down to the team. But Elijah is actually going to take his place at quarterback number three. So quick selling everything we just pulled there, guys. And also 80 overall Dante Jackson because we no longer need him. 66,000 training points. We have 100K training points. Now also I am going to go ahead and actually throw universal coverage and acrobat onto uh, Elijah Molden here because because that's what we had on March on Lattimore. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm actually using Elijah over Lattimore, it's strictly for the speed. Yes, he has 95 speed and 94 XL, and then he does have 90 man and 90 zone. Meanwhile, you guys see Lattimore over here, only 93 speed. Now we do have a 103,000 training points here, guys. So I'm just gonna start ripping these training variety packs. And if I get anything I can use, I'll show you. All right, guys, so we are down to 63,000 training points. And to be honest, the only thing that I have actually pulled would be uh, two 5K quick sells, which I have not quick sold yet because I wanted to show you those quick sells. But we're literally pulling nothing. We are pulling absolutely nothing. The powers we've gotten are not good. I do not need to use training points on a middle linebacker when I do not use middle linebackers at all. Does not help the team out there. Another power up, Jonathan Ogden, who's our right tackle. I'm trying to think of what our right tackle is. I'll, I'll hold that for a second because I can't remember our right tackle. I know it's not. I think it's the uh, the flashback Packers guy, Brian Bulaga, uh, Sherman. Not going to be using that. We'll do like two more here. And then I actually may go ahead and do like some rising stars or something because I'm trying to do training varieties to pull like GTs and stuff, guys. But I'm literally not pulling anything. Like there is zero that I'm pulling that could actually make the team here. Just a bunch of color rushes, power-ups for players that I do not want on the team. And unless I pull a golden ticket, probably nothing I could use. We get Kevin Mawai. We already have a better center than that, so we do not need Kevin Mawai there. Come on. So I can use. Please. Panthers helm option, okay. Please just give me a give me like a good redux. Maybe like a green redux. I would love that. Or, you know, a uh, a GT. Oh, wide receiver Dion power up. Okay, so that's actually interesting because wide receiver Dion is actually not a bad card. Now, I think he might get a power up expansion sometime soon, also. So I think we're going to hold on to that because I think he might get a power up expansion. But oh, yellow redux? Why? Why only 90 overall, Brandon Ayuk? We already had that card in the pack play team earlier. But I do want to see what his speed actually is right now uh, at his max card because we could always use like training points on him, get him to where we could add in that master card. And then all we have to do is have like a decent game with him and we get to go ahead and uh, get that card. So maybe not a bad idea. Final training variety. We'll go take a look at wide receiver Dion, quick sell the stuff and maybe use the training points on something else. Because this so far, not good. All right, so if we use training points on Dion, guys, we can go to 95 speed and 95 XL right here. And then, if he has a good game, it'll be 96 speed and 96 acceleration. I think we're probably going to do this. All right, so I am actually going to go ahead and do that. So we are going to have Dion Sanders now, actually, wide receiver three. Dory Jackson is going to be moving down. So we have 95 speed and 95 XL. Now, I don't think I have any, like, team camp. Do I have any? team cams actually going i don't think i actually do maybe 49ers no i don't i don't think i actually do have any of these team cams i wish i did so that i could actually get like his uh speed up a little bit sadly no we'll just go with cowboys on him there throw play fake times three also sprinter and then we are also going to go ahead and uh i think we're going to use route tech on him i'm pretty sure we do use route technician right now on a dory jackson so swap them out basically and actually i take that back because i thought i was using route tech on adori but i don't have enough ap so we just lost on training there is what it is i'm actually go with deep in elite i feel like i want to go with deep in elite because most of the time when i'm throwing to like uh my slot receiver it is kind of inside the numbers so i'm gonna go with deep in elite there also, one other thing I do want to do is actually go ahead and add Focus Kicker right here onto uh, Randy Moss because obviously we kind of need that. All right, so we do have 31,000 training points left. Let's go ahead and do some Rising Stars because I feel like there are some Rising Star players out there that I could 
potentially use. There's not a lot of them. There's really not many players that I get. Derek Brown right here, though, 94 overall. Nice little training points there. There's not a lot of flashbacks, rising stars, whatever that I could actually use on the team. Uh, I could use CJ Henderson, I think. I think he'd be a pretty big one there. Let's do a flashback and see if we get lucky. Let's see if I get lucky and pull, like, something crazy here. We'll do, like, one flashback here. And it's 90 overall Brady. I'll do like three more training varieties and that'll be it. We'll save the training points for the next episode. We actually get to power up Lance Allworth. I don't think that I want to use that just yet, honestly. I don't think I want to use Lance because that'll take a lot to get him up because he does have the uh, the legend card. And yeah, I don't know if I want to go through all that. We just got wide receiver Deion Sanders in the team. Maybe he will be better than Justin Jefferson, though. Like, completely maxed out. Plus, if I could get, like, Kems going. I forgot we had those coin quick sells, too. So, we do have to do that. Final training variety here. I'll check on Lance real quick. And we get a blue redux. Rogers. So, I did check on Lance. We are not going to be using that. And honestly, I thought really, really hard about this with Aaron Rodgers. We were actually going to go ahead and use Rodgers or not. And we're not because he doesn't actually get Gunslinger just yet at 90 overall, unfortunately. So Rodgers will not do, but quick selling all these guys, we actually have 16,000 points. So final packs video, we're going to do one pro fantasy and then two get a player packs here. As I'm hoping we get like some good power ups, honestly. We get basically nothing in round one. And round two, 82 overall, power up Vincent Jackson. I don't think I want to use VJax. I feel like it's probably way too late to go ahead and upgrade him. Also, he doesn't really have... A uh, very good card. Rest in peace to Vincent Jackson. But let's get into these final two get a player packs here. We get an elite. 82 overall. Joel Batonio. Okay. And final get a player pack. Please something good. Good power up. Legend. Okay, training points. I'll take it. 83 overall, Tony G. So that is it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. We did get a new wide receiver in Deion Sanders. And aside from that, yeah. Oh, we also got a new corner. We got Elijah Molden. So we got Elijah and also Deion Sanders. So two new pickups. Not the craziest pickups in the world, but two new pickups. Still a little bit salty about the gameplay is what it is though hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like on it see you guys next time